Hey girl, I missed you too. <laughs> That's a good girl. Oop. Don't want you stepping on this. It's got nails in it. And then if you guys will look over there. She had puppies. What is Gucci fam? This is Jake. It's another day. And today we're gonna kill four birds with one stone. Which means I'm gonna be vlogging. I'm gonna be heading over my um my niece's place places to knock out two videos. And then when I get back, I'm gonna be doing another video. So that's four bit maybe five. Maybe five if I can squeeze them in. But my four videos in one day. Like I said before, it's every day over here. We we going ham. We going ham every day, or at least every other day. As long as long as it's within my power, it's every day. But if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button and share. You, you you know you got the gist of it by now. For those of you that aren't new, wait. For those of you that I don't care. I don't know. I'm 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 skipping my nap today. So if I don't make sense. Yeah. If I don't make sense at certain points, just check me on that in the comments. Okay, before I wait, well, I'm heading that way anyway. I'm gonna call ahead and see if my baby's at the house. Hey Siri, call Nina. Calling Nina. Hey Nina, are you home? You got the babies, which? Jess is not here. Is Diana there? Yeah. Perfect. It's her turn to help me with a video if she's awake. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go change my oil and I'll swing by. Okay, cause I gotta, I gotta go take some, but how long you think it's gonna be? I gotta drop some off. Tomorrow. Oh, how long you think it'll be gone? I ain't gonna be gone that long. There she go. Oh, she forgot something. Forgot something? She forgot something, y'all. She forgot something. And she wouldn't tell me what it was. I gave up 30 years ago. We're still not taking oil changes for 20 more minutes. Oh. Yeah. That's why. 20 minutes later. And there she goes again. After 20 minutes of waiting on them to come back from break, which lets me know that I'm never going to come here to a, at 1.30 again. This dude started staring at me. I don't know why he was staring at me. Nope, it's not coming in. This isn't one of my dream cars, but I can call this car good old Bessie. Because this car has not let me down. Well, it has let me down once or twice, but for the most part, throughout the duration I've had this car, it's it's in really good shape. Really good, good quality shape. I take care of my vehicles. I take care of stuff that I pay cash for. Go ahead, lady. Sitting right up in the middle of the road. Yeah, I just got a full service oil change. The one thing I do every time after I get an oil change is fill my gas all the way up. You know, it's like with your body. Take care of your body, it lasts longer. You take care of your car, it lasts longer. Just wait till I cop me a new whip. This ain't, I wouldn't call this one of my dream cars, but like, I'm definitely never getting rid of this one because just because of all the times I've had in it and all the money I've put into it, you know? I think I had this car for about three years now. Three years, three, four, three or four years around there. But yeah, whenever I get my full service oil change, I always, I always make sure I'm in a full tank. Like if you see that right there, sometimes if I don't, if I'm not paying attention, because a lot of times I'll be in and out of town if I'm doing business or whatever, or if I'm vlogging or taking it, whatever it is, I'll like not pay attention and the orange light will shine in my face and it'll let me know. But besides that, that is the lowest I will let my tank get. I gotta have a full tank every time. Plus, my car gives like the, anybody that's a car savvy person knows that your car performs way better when everything's at its top tier. So, I don't like to hear my car struggling. I don't, I want my car to last as long as possible until I start buying more. I take care of my stuff. For a few years, I didn't know that you could clip it to where it'll keep fueling itself. 
also didn't know that the gas pushed back whenever it was the gas pushed back i heard a click it was on the other side i didn't know that the gas pushed back and released it letting me know that my tank was full very useful i'm trying to remember what i was going to say i wasn't that's not what i was going to say there was something else i was going to say oh yeah i remember i like to pay stuff cash like i believe in building up good credit but like when it comes to cars and furniture and all that other stuff i would rather be like bam here's the money that's it this is mine now 100 percent mine the bank doesn't own it the loan place doesn't own it it is my my stuff look at that y'all see that hold up close up closer closer 139 at the got 139 at shell man $1.39 I'm at a full tank of gas off $18 that's not bad because usually from there it would have been about $25 or $30 so I saved like $22 wait I saved about $12 $15 it was kind of funny there was this dude in this like brand new Mercedes that was sitting behind me I think he was I think he was watching me record myself Cause like he kept staring i would look over then he would look away and then i would get out the car put the camera back down if i wasn't like talking to you guys and then i would see him look away again if i looked at him so i think i think he saw the camera in my hand but it'd be all right this this is starting to become normal like it doesn't bother me to carry my camera on vlog anymore because if you want to do this like me if you want to be like me and like do this and film yourself and have fun and get your memories and your adventures on your on camera like you got to treat this like you get paid for it before you start getting paid for it like if you're making let's say you're making a hundred thousand dollars a year off of just filming your life are you really going to care about what other people think or are you going to carry on about your business because this is how you make a living like this isn't how i make a full living right now but like this is it's really fun i really enjoy making content and making people's day through my content but i'm sure y'all go you guys don't want to see me talking to you sitting at a gas station for 15 20 minutes so god dang y'all he is really sprucing my neighbor's house up but who used to live there was a lady she was very nice. She was my neighbor. I'd known her since I was a little kid. She like she passed away. But this like this guy came in and he com he he added more to the house in the back. He added more house on the side. He even then put together a little garage and he's got a whole bunch of wood sitting to the side for another project that he's putting together. But I don't know what it is. He is going ham on that property he boy i don't know if he plan on living there if he's selling it he going crazy over there but other than that the two videos i planned on doing today have been scrapped because of a change of plans on my niece's mother's end of the spectrum so now i gotta figure something else out let's see what my cousin is doing he lives right around the street i am currently in my folks driveway everybody else is still at work but i know my cuzzo is still at the house y'all gotta hear this too y'all gotta hear this too what's good d not much y'all at the house yes sir what y'all doing nothing just i'm doing painting and picking up the house pretty much y'all mind if and i building his booth Oh, okay. You mind if I swing by? Come on. All righty. Success! They're going to help me film a video. Let's get it. It's locked. Oh, you already seen them. Oh, they're walking now. Cleo, be quiet. Cleo. 
Hey girl, I missed you too. <laughs> That's a good girl. Oh, don't want you stepping on this. It's got nails in it. And then if you guys will look over there. She had puppies. Oh, how's it going, ma'am? Building this studio up, because now I got a lot more customers, so. This is what I love about people who aren't as hardcore about Taco Bell as I am, is that during the daytime, nobody eats there. Nobody. Like literally, that stuff came out so freaking quick. It was like five, six, oh shoot. God dang, man. Somebody just came out flying 50 miles an hour, turning in to the drive thing. That's crazy. One thing I don't understand is how some people say they get an upset stomach when they eat Taco Bell. I've never had that. I guess I got a stomach of steel. I just got back from the skating rink. This is me live two days later. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. But things have finally started to open up here in South Carolina. Entertainment places, skating places. None of the hotels and stuff were open yet, but so far as entertainment, I don't think the movies are open yet either. So far as entertainment stuff, it's, it's got restrictions, but they everything's been opened. So now I got more free reign to do more type different videos, but I think I'm gonna end it here. But first I'm gonna show y'all a clip of me being on my way home from the, being on my way back to the crib. Something stupid, something happened. Y'all almost got hit by a Jeep that ran the red light. I swear! All these new people down here, man. It's like there's a disease going around. That disease is called stupid. A lot of people catching stupid. When you come to Greenville, South Carolina, um, be a little extra cautious because there's a lot of crazy drivers here and people get in accidents. I literally saw like flowers on the side of the road on this new thing they built, this new roundabout. And I was like, dang, you know, like somebody passed all, you know, passed already from a car wreck. But a lot of people be driving crazy down here. So like, that's what I tell anybody that comes like, this way or somebody I meet that's like new around here. I just like warn them about how how many stupid people are in traffic. I can't imagine how bad New York is. But I don't know how long this video is, but I think I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Appreciate everybody for watching. Got more fire on the way. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and share. And I'll holla at you, peace.